Good morning. I shall present a case study on the perception of college students on the ideal parenting style that fosters their freedom. Parenting style is a combination of the parent's relationship, interaction, and communication with their children, as well as their manner of disciplining them. For our study, we have sought out four parenting styles based from Marisol Agarcon. These parenting styles are authoritarian, authoritative, permissive, and uninvolved parenting. The characteristics of authoritarian parents are demanding and unresponsive to the children's needs. They set high standards on their children and place a high value on conformity. They expect obedience without any question. Authoritative parents, on the other hand, set some limits to their children, but they also encourage them to be independent and individualistic. They provide their children with warmth and attention. Permissive parents make no demands nor set limits to their children. They allow children to regulate their own behavior because they are usually warm, accepting, and non-controlling. Lastly, uninvolved parents are the ones who are uncontrolling and unresponsive towards their children. They have neither time nor energy for them. Having these conditions set, children from authoritarian parents are usually unhappy, withdrawn, rebellious, and anxious. They have low self-esteem and lack spontaneity, creativity, and intellectual curiosity. They also react to others with hostility when they are frustrated. Children from authoritative parents usually become responsible, independent, competent, task persistent, socially mature, self-confident, and self-controlled. They also tend to become academic achievers. Children from permissive parents usually are immature, impulsive, and rebellious. They become underachievers because of their low self-esteem. They, they are dependent on adults and are less persistent on school tasks. Finally, children from uninvolved parents are the ones that become hostile. They lack social and academic skills and usually engage in delinquent behavior. This has led us to come up with our main problem. What is the perception of the college students ages 16 to 21 years old, on the ideal parenting style informing their freedom. To answer our main problem, we have three sub-questions. What is the freedom for Filipino youth ages 16 to 21 years old? How do the youth describe the parenting style of their parents? What are the effects of the parenting style of their parents in their freedom? The objectives of the study are to discover the perception of the youth on, first, the importance of freedom, second, parenting styles of their parents, and third, the effects of parenting style in fostering the freedom of their children. For this case study, we made use of an interview survey to gather information from different college students chosen through random sampling. The survey interview questionnaire has five parts. The family background of the respondent, perceptions about the parenting style of their parents, the perception about the freedom achieved from parents, the reasons perceived by the children on the parenting style of their parents, and the effects of parenting style in fostering their freedom. In our study, we made use of Cormac Burke's definition of freedom, being not the power to do what you like. It is something much more important. It is the power to be fully oneself the power to become fully oneself, and to realize fully one's potentialities as a human being. The coverage of our topic is mainly focused on the four parenting styles, the Filipino youth and family, and living the value of their freedom. We were able to obtain 30 respondents of 16 to 21 year old college students from five different universities, namely Ateneo de Manila University, De La Salle University, Polytechnic University of the Philippines, 
University of the Philippines, and University of Santo Tomas. The survey respondents come from different social economic backgrounds. Most of them live with their families and are family oriented. All of them have an average of two to five siblings. As to the respondents' sibling position in the family, we can see that all of them have siblings. <laughs> now we move on to discuss their perceptions. Ask what is the best word they associate with freedom. Their top three answers were free will, independence, and responsibility. The respondents describe the parenting style of their parents as strict and reasonable for majority and lenient for some. Majority are in favor of the parenting style of their parents, as well as majority are moderately satisfied with the freedom they have achieved from their parents. They also said that they learn much with the freedom that they have, which they use in making decisions, doing leisurely activities, and doing schoolwork. Majority said that through freedom, they have developed themselves much. Therefore, agreeing that freedom has a positive effect on them. From our results, we have concluded the following. The opinion of the youth varies when asked the best word associated with freedom. Their top answers were free will, responsibility, and independence. Most of the youth described the parenting style of their parents as strict and reasonable but lenient. Majority are in favor of the parenting style applied to them and they think that the reasons of the strictness is because of too much love and care for their children. A quarter of the survey respondents think that parents become lenient because they are affected by their trust to their children. Overall, freedom affects the youth in positive ways. The respondents have different levels of satisfaction of the freedom given to them. All of the respondents have learned and developed certain values like responsibility, independence, and decision-making. Finally, from this study, we have the following recommendations. We recommend parents to balance the formation of freedom with responsibility in raising their children. This can be done through an authoritative parenting style. Next, we recommend parents and advocacy groups to organize parenting seminars in understanding the youth. And lastly, we recommend other researchers to make a qualitative study on the same topic. That is all. Thank you.